I've got a Raspberry Pi Pico here. And if you come over here, a function in circuit Python and a function in MicroPython in the same code running on this Raspberry Pi Pico. The circuit Python function flashes it and the MicroPython function flashes it faster. Today we're going to show you how to do this. Sometimes we use circuit Python and sometimes we use MicroPython. And when we're programming MicroPython, we sometimes think it'd be great if we could use the circuit Pythons or some libraries in our MicroPython code. So today we're going to show you how you can do this and mix and match circuit Python and MicroPython. So I'm going to start off by putting MicroPython on this. I know most of you will already know how to do this, but I'm just going to do it from a completeness. We hold down the boot um, select button, plug it in, let go, and wait for the notification. There we go, press OK. I've already to save time, gone to micropython.org forward slash download forward slash rp2 dash pico. So I'm just going to download the latest version here. And then just drag it on here. Okay, so now my Raspberry Pi Pico has MicroPython on. There's a variety of ways to write and run code and get files on and off your Pico. There's a video showing you loads of different options and how to do that, link should be in the description. But we're just going to use Fonny because most of our viewers will probably use Fonny and we want to hit the most amount of people. Most of you have already probably got Fonny, but just for completeness, I'm going to go get it. So all I have to do is sudo apt install Fonny. I'm installing this on a Raspberry Pi with Raspbian, but it's also available on other Linux distributions and also Windows and Mac. It's done. So if I just open Funny, it's not connected to my MicroPython device. So to do that, we come up here, we go run, select interpreter here, MicroPython Raspberry Pi Pico. Now, if you haven't got this, if you've not got like Raspberry Pi Pico in the brackets, come down here and just go MicroPython gen generic. But I've got it, so I'm gonna click it. And then try to detect port automatically. Okay. And you can see now come here, it says Raspberry Pi Pico with RP2040. I like to do it by hand, but you can also install um, firmware and update it um, here. So if I go tools and then options, and it says install or update firmware, but there's also another way to get to here. You can just go run, select interpreter, and then it's here as well. So if I run this code with CircuitPython and MicroPython on, I run it, it comes up with an error because I'm running CircuitPython code on a MicroPython device. But soon this problem won't occur. So I'm at, if you come up here, github.com forward slash Adafruit forward slash Adafruit with a capital A underscore Blinker with a capital B. And I'm just going to come over here and click releases. And then I'm going to download the source code, this one here. So now I'm going to extract it. So if you come over here, I'm just going to click on that. And then up here, I'm going to go that, and then I'm going to choose where I want it. And I'm going to put it into downloads. And then I'm just going to press extract here. Okay, so if I go into downloads, it should be there. Here, you can see it's here. I also need something called platform detect. So I've gone to github.com forward slash adafruit forward slash adafruit with a capital A underscore python with a capital P underscore platform with a capital P detect with a capital D forward slash releases. And I'm just gonna download the source code and then I'm just gonna extract this. Now I'm going to extract mine to downloads, um, but you don't have to extract yours to downloads, I just want to. You can see I've got the Adafruit Blinker and Adafruit Python Platform Detect, which is everything I need. So I'm back in Funny now and I'm in this file window. If you don't know how to get this, is or you've not got it, you just go view up here and then you tick files. Anyway, in my Raspberry Pi Pico down here, I'm going to right click and press new directory and i'm going to call this lib so now i want to go into lib before i forget to and now up here in this top one up here this is what's on my computer and i'm just going to navigate to where i've downloaded my adafruit stuff so mine's in downloads but you navigate to wherever you put yours 
Okay, so I've got my Adafruit blinker and Adafruit Python platform detect. First, I'm gonna go into my Adafruit Python platform detect. And it's this I want, the Adafruit platform detect, this top one. I'm gonna right click it and I'm gonna upload to forward slash lib. Now I'm gonna go out of that. So I'm gonna go back into downloads where I've stored my stuff. And then I'm gonna go into my Adafruit blinker up here. Then I'm gonna go into SRC. And I'm going to select everything inside here. All of that, I'm going to right click and upload to lib. So I'm uploading everything in here. So I'll catch you when I've done that. Great, they're all here. This is what it should look like now inside your lib folder. Okay, so now I'm going to run this code and hopefully it should flash the onboard LED. It's working. This is running CircuitPython code and MicroPython code in the same program. What I've noticed with my Raspberry Pi Pico um, is that there seems to be a couple of storage um, problems. So I'm going to go check out the storage space. I'm going to press this icon here. Go storage space. Whoa. There's minus 548 free space. That is like less than nothing. So, just to prove to you that I can't add anything to my um, Raspberry Pi Pico. I'm going to CD into Downloads, where I put everything. At the moment, that's where all my stuff is. And I'm going to create a file. So I'm using Truncate. Truncate. So I'm going to go Truncate, minus S. And I think the file I'm going to create, let's go 75k. So I'm going to create a 75k file. I'm going to call that Spacer. And then... 75 bearing in mind you don't have to do this i'm just showing you that i can't add anything to my um raspberry yeah. pico the file i just created here is 75 kilobytes so you can see and space underscore 75k has come up and downloads and i'm just going to upload that to my raspberry Pi pico and there should be a problem because no room on my pico so it wouldn't yep yeah, there's an error a management er error because there's not enough space on my Raspberry Pi Pico. So let's fix this. So if I open up lib, there's a lot of stuff on here that I don't need. So I'm going to get rid of anything that's not anything to do with Pico or Raspberry Pi. So I'll open up the Adafruit blinker first and the microcontroller. And there's a lot here that I can delete, so I can delete. I don't think I need that, but I'm just going to keep that just to be safe for Pico UFA. I mean, I don't think I need anything else except the RP2040. So I'll just delete everything else. So now let's check in board. Don't think I need anything except Raspberry Pi here. So I'll delete everything except Raspberry Pi. So I'll just go here and check my storage space. And wow, this jumped up a lot to 976 kilobytes. So now let's see if we can get our space of 75k on. There we go. Now it fits on. And then let's check the room I've got after putting that on. <laughs> I've still got 900 kilobytes. A few things. I was just watching the video back and I realised when I went into my um, SRC folder um, to copy all this over to my lib folder down below, um, I realised that there was more files below that I didn't select. So watch out for that. And one of them was PWMIO, which I then needed later on. Also um, here... If you head over to circuitpython.org forward slash libraries, that's where you can get all your cool libraries for your projects. I'm used to downloading this compiled MPY file and I tried that and it didn't work and I spent a lot of time realising you need to use this here, this .py file. I've had a go at putting on some of our favourite CircuitPython libraries um, but I've had some patchy results so I'll probably do a follow-up video um, about this when I've had more time to play around and get to know this better. Um, it looks like it's getting late now, it's a school night so maybe heading off to bed but um i hope you did find this um, video useful if you did give it a like and subscribe comment if you do have any tips and tricks about um this you know i'm new to it as well so if you've got anything just let me know bye